In this video, we're going to talk about how to add features in Google Earth. We'll show you how to add place marks, lines, shapes, street view, and slides to your project. Let's start by adding a place. In Google Earth, click the search button and search for a place you'd like to add to your project. Once you find a place you like, click the Add to Project button in the Knowledge card. You can save the place to a new project, or if you've already created a project, you can save to one of your existing projects using the drop-down menu. Don't forget to click Save. The place will now appear in the list of features in your project. You can also add places by dropping a placemark directly on the globe. Click the Add Placemark button in the toolbar. Then click on the globe to drop the placemark. Give your place a title and save it to your project. Now, let's add a line. Click the Draw Line or Shape button in the toolbar and click on the globe to draw your line with a series of points. To save your line, press Enter. Give your line a title and save it to your project. Now, let's add a shape. You use the same tool, the Draw Line or Shape button in the toolbar, to draw a shape. Click the button in the toolbar and click on the globe to draw your shape. Close your shape by clicking on your first point. Give your shape a title and save it to your project. You can also add a favorite street view image. Click the peg men to see the blue lines and dots that show where street view is available. Click on a blue line or dot to enter street view. Set up the view you want. Click the capture street view button in the toolbar to save the view and give it a title. There's one last feature that we haven't covered yet, slides. You can also add a full screen slide to your project as an introduction, section break, or ending. Click the Add to Project button. You'll see that you can add place marks, lines, shapes, and slides from this menu. Select Full Screen Slide. Here in the Property Editor, you can design your slide with an image, a title and description. You can reorder any slides or places in your project. So if you've made an intro slide, then you can drag and drop it into the first place on the list. To see your finished project, click Present. Use the Previous and Next buttons in the Table of Contents to journey through your project. Now you know all about features you can use to build your Earth project. Go ahead and start adding.